Hi, how are you doing Aquarius? This is your reading for the next 48 hours. I really hope you're having a wonderful day. I really hope you're having a blessed day. Let's get into your reading. Uh, if this reading resonates, please be sure to share it with your fellow Aquarians. If this reading resonates, please be sure to come back and get more readings from me. Starting off with a reading, you get the Emperor. Uh, I see you really um, taking control of your life, taking control of the aspects that are, are taking place uh, within your energy. Um, you're standing strong. Uh, you really, um, you're really taking on everything. I want to say, earning up to responsibility. I know that can be uh, something uh, really exhausting, uh, but it's kind of rewarding because it gives you power of um, outlooking everything in your empire, outlooking everything in your power. You might be coming off as quite controlling, quite um, a bit. Uh, over demanding i want to say or just too harsh but you're just uh, trying to do the right thing for you and uh, for those around you what does um aquarius need to know for the next 48 hours i see happiness coming in are uh, you coming to a time where you feel happy within you um you might be coming in contact with somebody uh, who makes you feel happy or just you might be um, starting out a new idea, new uh, inspirations, new motivations, uh, taking new directions that are, are bringing in happiness for you. I really see a lot of work needs to be done. You know, you, you might be having to do something over and over again with the Eight of Pentacles. However, the repetition, like I love to say, is going to lead to perfection. There might be um, there might be um, toxic situation going on around you. Uh, by that I mean uh, your person get what they want and you get what you want out of a situation. Uh, and I feel like that connection is a work in progress. It could be a work situation where you know even if you're getting you're just doing it for the pay and they get the work done. You, it's just a sense of uh, whatever situ situation you're in. It could be even toxic habits or just uh, uh, indulging in um, connection maybe with a, a Capricorn. Uh, it's the sense of uh, it's a work in progress. Uh, it needs uh, some time, you know, for you to get to where you want to go. Uh, you might be lying in the slow steps. It could be something that brings you money. And uh, it feels like um, you might be trying to improve your finances. Um, at the same time, it seems like you're almost there. You're halfway there. It's just like the situation is toxic. So you really, um, it's not fully um, the best to be. With the Ace of Swords, I really feel an energy of um, you need to be brave and courageous, take action going on, uh, action going forward. If you feel like you want to cut off uh, some toxic habits, some toxic people, some toxic energy, you can do so with the Ace of Swords. However, with strongly with the Ace of Swords, I really see you being brave, moving on forward, going after what you want and uh, being determined. You have the two of cups. Um, again, energy of uh, you coming to a time of taking care of yourself. If you're dealing with somebody in your energy, I feel like there's somebody who wants to reciprocate the feelings. Uh, somebody who uh, maybe I feel like maybe things might be starting out as uh, you're trying to get to know them. They're trying to get to know you. Um, but with also the two of cups, I strongly get an energy of uh, just understand uh, getting to a time where you understand each other. And uh, strongly, uh, if you're not dealing with anybody in your energy, I feel like um, um, I feel like uh, there's a feeling of um, just nurturing your own self, connecting to yourself, to your senses. Uh, with the five of uh, wands, I really feel like there's a lot going going through your mind. I feel like there's chaos disturbances, uh, multiple directions popping up, uh, just multiple options, multiple decisions that you have to make. And it's kind of like it's becoming ridiculous. It might be becoming overwhelming. It might be uh, really becoming uh, quite um, just, just too much. That's what I want to say. Strongly too much. But it's helping you move on and uh, close out a cycle. It's, it's helping you move on and uh, close out an experience with a world card. Uh, I strongly feel like um, these new experiences that you might be going through, they're leading you to the end of a cycle. Is there anything uh, Aquarius needs to know?
of the three of cups uh i feel an energy of um celebration taking place happiness uh there might you might be coming to a time where um it starts off as you doing something that it kind of gives back uh you kind of like you give in your emotions and you get some emotions back could be dealing with somebody and uh, it gets to a time where you feel quite uh, exhausted quite mentally like uh, preoccupied with uh, so much things going on and with the three of cups it's coming to a time of celebration you know you might be having to go through some arguments some conflicts some um overwhelming moments to really get to the to the place where you feel like okay we can be happy and uh oh i enjoy this happiness that's taking place it might be with a group of uh, friends family society community however there's a celebration that's taking place You might be dealing with an Aries. Is there anything? Um, Aries or Capricorn? Is there anything um, Aquarius needs to know? Ten of Pentacles. Uh, I feel like uh, whatever situation you're in or whatever you might be dealing through or even in your life in general, I feel like you're working yourself up to the Ten of Pentacles or just that uh, there's a balance coming in, financial balance. Uh, with the Ten of Pentacles, uh, I get a sense of um, you get into a time where you feel secure within your energy and those around you. Are you feeling happy? Um, you feel that home security? Uh, you can solve any um, financial problems you have. However, it's now like independently. It's a, a group and thing, you know, where um, you really feel like a, it's, in a, it's within an establishment or within a setting where uh, both of you or all of you are working to the success of um, a group, I want to say. You might be a highly skilled person. You might be a really high skilled player within your energy. Uh, you might be doing something that kind of makes you sit with the masters, I want to say. With the Ten of Pentacles, I uh, get an energy of, uh, yeah, there is a bonus coming in. And it's coming in for, um, for you and those around you. This might be taking place at night time. Is there anything the chorus needs to know? Yeah, there is happiness. There is happiness in this setting. I don't know why. In this setting where you are experiencing a victory and celebration, uh, a, a reunion and just a union and just happiness taking place, uh, I really feel like uh, your presence is quite needed in whatever situation you might be dealing with. Uh, your presence is necessary and your presence is going to uh, help you achieve a lot. Your, your presence and your efforts uh, with the cups and the pentacles. Your ideas also, or just the way you work, the way you operate, um, the way you um, spice things up, or just the way you carry yourself, the path you take w with things, or just the just the cr the create your creativity is needed. Your creativity, your passion, and uh, your yeah, creativity and passion is going to lead you to the um, abundance you might be looking for. Uh, you uh, with the Queen of Cups and the Tower, there might be somebody who's uh, coming after you to offer you, uh, uh, to give you a stable offer. Uh, that stable offer is for a long term. However, I feel like you yourself, you have to go through some change. Uh, or your person might be coming from a situation that just broke down, I want to say. Um, with the tower, um, I really feel like there, there's some change taking place within you or just around you. Uh, with the lovers, I strongly get an energy of uh, two of cups lovers. 
there might be somebody who you know it just still has an eye on you somebody who really uh, is guided to you because strongly i've been getting the sun card sun card sun card if i've been saying happiness a lot the sun and i'm gonna get that i'm gonna just i'm gonna just even close my eyes i'm gonna just put it there if it comes up it comes up if it don't it don't I get the five of swords, the page of pentacles, and the six of swords. Uh, I feel like what's happening for you around this time is that uh, you're walking away from things that just uh, no longer benefit you. You're just detaching yourself from people who can't keep up with just things that are no longer can uh, keep up with you. Habits, behaviors that just ain't working for you. I really feel like you're just keeping that focus strong and just heading forward. With a page of pentacles, I really feel like whatever you're doing, it's uh, just uh, it's a work in progress to where you want to be. It's just like right now, you see yourself and you maybe you might not be feeling satisfied with where you are, but it's kind of like you're working on things to move on for the better. And with the six of swords, I really feel like um, your whole situation is moving from a chaotic to a cooler, calmer water situation. It's just moving on for the better where you can breathe, uh, emotionally be available, uh, emotionally be yourself. And uh, I really feel like with this lovers, uh, you might be also dealing with a Gemini. <laughs> with my being with a Gemini and um, I, I get a sense of um, there is some interest here um, with the lovers I really feel like this person has a passion towards you or just you understand each other you guys share the same drive uh, with the lovers I really feel like um, could be a friend partner uh, but there's a sense of uh, mutual interest and more than just more than just feelings, I feel like there is passion with the two of cups and the lovers. Is there anything else? Aquarius needs to know. And with the ten of wands, I really feel like you're coming to a time where you have to release uh, maybe some heartbreaks you've been feeling in the past. Maybe past situations didn't unfold greatly. Maybe you've been going through so much pain yourself. You've been going through some ups and downs. You've been just going through uh, devastating moments. Not, not everybody or just life is never perfect uh life is just um life is just a salt life is just a grain of salt in a kind of paper wow life is just a grain of salt in a kind of paper if you get a chance to eat the salt enjoy it because when you eat the paper it's gonna be spicy and it's gonna fuck you up <laughs> With the 10 of uh, wands, I feel like you come into a time where you have to release your buttons, projects, ideas you've been working on, even if you've been working on yourself. It's about time to release the old beliefs, uh, just the old uh, system behind it. And um, yeah, just move on because things are just getting better for you. And uh, maybe it's about time to release the state of mind you've been uh, living into. Uh, maybe with the Six of Swords, uh, with the Six of Swords, you can see where this person might be coming from. A really hectic shit, you know. Um, maybe strongly going after, really going after um, ideas. Um, just going after things with a great strong head on energy being relentless or just being strong-minded and just bolting after it and uh, with the six of swords it really feels like where one might be coming from or where you might be coming from is the energy of uh, maybe you have to step into that defensive mechanism you have to step into that energy of uh, you being um, defensive in your tracks or just in your ways you know when um when you are put in a kind of a hard situation, you enter survival mode. And uh, what I'm seeing for you is just like, um, yeah, that survivalness. Uh, it's about time you let that go and start actually living life for the better and just for the good of it. Thank you, Aquarius. Have a nice one.